Hey guys, Craig McCormick here from DestructivePixels.com and today I want to show you why you should always open pictures from Lightroom into Photoshop as a smart object. Now let me jump in here. Okay, now I've got an image here and if I jump over to my develop module here, you'll see I have a whole bunch of settings applied here. And what most people do here from this point when they want to take it into Photoshop, they go into edit in and they go into edit in Photoshop. Now I'll show you the reason why this is a bad idea once this picture loads up. Now the main issue is, is that when Photoshop brings this image in, it bakes all your camera raw settings into the file itself. So it just treats it as any old layer, which is fine if you want to do that. But if you want to work non-destructively, that's a really big issue because then you've lost all that information. If you want to go in and change something, if you want to go in and say change the white balance or something like that, you can't do it anymore. Now, of course, with this being Photoshop CC, you can actually now go in and go into filter and go into the camera raw filter. But the problem with that is that it doesn't recognize any of your camera raw settings. It just goes and it's all at zeros. So here's my tip here is that you're, whenever you are opening an image from Lightroom into Photoshop, you go edit in and you go open as a smart object in Photoshop. Now what this will do is it will open it as a raw file inside Photoshop. Rather than just a plain layer, it will open it as a raw file with Adobe Camera Raw settings applied. So if you see here, there's a little smart object icon. If you double click on that, it will open up Adobe Camera Raw and it will have all your settings applied. So if I wanted to change something, if I wanted to, let, let's, uh, yeah, let's just lower the, yeah, that looks terrible, but it will, I'll show you what I mean here. If I click OK, it will then rebuild that raw preview. So there you go. Now it's all super dark again. So of course, let me just go back. And if I double click on that, I say, you know what? I don't like that. I want to change it again. I can just do that. You click OK and it's good to go. Now, it'll, once it rebuilds, obviously it will go, oh, OK. All right, so you want to change it. Now, that's really useful if you are working completely non-destructively and you open up your image in Photoshop and you go, oh, you know what? I want to tweak that white balance a little bit you'll be able to do that by opening as a smart object. I highly, highly recommend working non-destructively using smart objects. That is the best way to go when working on your images. But what if you don't have Lightroom? Here's another quick tip on top of that. If you open up here as a, if you open up here, you open up the camera raw, Adobe camera raw dialog box, you go down here to the bottom and you see this little hyperlink. It looks like a hyperlink. It's not a hyperlink. It actually holds a lot of important information. But if you go here and you go down to the bottom of this workflow options window and you click Adobe, open in Photoshop as smart objects, it will open all raw files as smart objects inside of Photoshop after they've ran through Camera Raw. So it's the same principle that you'll be able to go in and re-edit your picture. So let me go here. I can actually show you. I'll jump over to my desktop. I've got the exact same picture here. Just saved out my desktop. If I double click on it, opens up in camera raw first, but you can see here at the bottom, it says open as object. So when I open it up in Photoshop, when it eventually reads the camera raw, come on, this is not fun. There we go. Okay. So you open it up and it's a smart object with all the camera raw settings still there. So you can double click on that thing and your settings are all still there. It's a great way to work. So remember you go down here, you open up the camera raw dialog box. You go down to the bottom here where this hyperlink looking thing is. You click on it and you make sure this box is ticked open in Photoshop as smart objects. And from there on, it will always open as a smart object no matter what. But let me close this and I'll show you one more little trick on top of that. It's trick master world today. I'll go in and I'll open that same picture up from the dialog box from the desktop again. Now, let's say you don't want to open this up as a smart object for whatever reason. Right? So you see it says open object. What if you just want to open it as a layer? You hold down your option or alt key and it opens as a copy, which will open it up as, come on, it'll open it as a layer. There you go. So if you do want to do it as a layer, that's fine. By default, Adobe Camera Raw opens it up as a layer. So make sure that little tick, that little tick box is ticked. And that's it. Uh, if you've got any more questions about smart objects or how to work them and stuff like that, post them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. My name is Craig McCormick. You can find all information about me at www.destructivepixels.com and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.